All right, back for a Throne of Eldraine draft. So, this is a bot draft. I've obviously been preferring the um, human drafts, but I love Throne of Eldraine. Okay, so a lot of interesting picks here. Um, Hushbringer is not amazing. Um, it's a good, it's like a flyer, and it's this ability is sometimes re relevant. Uh, Slaying Fire is an excellent removal spell. Um, Keeper of Fables, though, it can typically carry, uh, can I, I find can carry a, a green deck, and green is one of the stronger colors in this set. There's also an out muscle in the pack. It's, it feels like I should take the Slaying Fire, um, but Keeper of Fables represents so much late game value, and this stat line is actually really strong. Um, I don't have a good read on what else would be like a follow-up pick on the wheel here. I feel like I want to take this Keeper over the Slaying Fire. Slaying Fire is a, such a good card, but I gotta say I'm biased towards green in this set, so I'm gonna take Keeper here. Okay, and now see some good red cards, uh, and overall the Friends is, an, is just an excellent card. Uh, it works pretty well in a mill strategy. Uh, in terms of green cards here, my only option is... Well, my options are try to make an aggressive green deck, which is possible in this format, just making a mono green uh, aggro deck. There is a So Tiny, which is really solid removal. Um, the So Tiny plus the Overwhelmed Apprentice, the rare was taken. This is a bot draft, so I can't entirely be sure um, of how the bots are taking things right now. I haven't, I haven't played a bot draft in this since original Eldraine. But here, my Keeper of Fables is best in a green-red uh, non-human deck. So, it doesn't really... <sighs> Rimrock is an excellent card, but it doesn't really feel the same vibe here. I think... This Animating Fairy is actually really good in a, in a white-blue artifacts deck. I think knowing that the white green deck is essentially like a food deck that works on I'm actually not entirely sure what the what the uh, blue green deck does to be honest that's one that's a deck that I've almost never drafted except for one time that I pulled Oko so I'm sitting here for a while so let's do this is tough I feel like I just want to try like going for these mill style cards to be honest <clears throat> I'm going to take this. Hmm. These cards don't synergize, which is like what's really staying my hand right now. A bit of a control deck. There's a good amount of artifacts in here that this works with. It's not as restrictive as taking this, but I really feel like I kind of just want this Rimrock Knight, to be honest. To go with that uh, green, green, red, green, red aggro deck. Or just green, red, big creature tribal. <sighs> Tough, man. I'm going to take the Apprentice and see what happens. Okay. And now there's a Bog Naughty. Really good in a food deck, but you have to have the food payoffs to make that happen. Um... Other cards here, uh, Cup of Surge is an excellent card, but it automatically puts you in heavy blue for heavy black. Um, I don't have the food synergies yet. Green, uh, green, green, black food would be the archetype that would use my Keeper of Fables. Um, a black blue control deck is not impossible, but Bognati, we're not going to be making food unless we're in green, so it's kind of a restrictive pick in my opinion. Uh, that being said, with the direction that I'm going here, I don't know. I mean, maybe there were some good red picks here. Forever Young. I feel like I feel like I take the Covetous Urge over the Bognaughty, which is crazy. Because then I'm committing to this color combo. I'm going to take the Bognaughty. Man, I hope that really doesn't bite me later. Okay. 
So now there's an Arcanist Owl. <laughs> Man, these picks are not lining up. Um, this card is not unplayable. There are a decent amount of artifacts running around Neldrain. Owl is one of them. Um, keep taking a look at what I've got here. Enchanted Carriage is a fine card, to be honest. But I really want to make a deck. And I'm seeing like some solid like white-blue cards that just went by me. I could take this Unexplained Visions. But Outflank is a fine um, removal spell. If we were in like white-green, that would be fine. Um, white blue could do as Arcanist Owl. Animating Fairy would have been great in that type of deck. This I feel like this is just a restricted pick. That's why I don't want to take it. But I suppose hmm, it really only works in that artifact deck. I'm I, this, this is this is starting off rough, but I think we'll be able to kind of kind of pivot and figure this out. The only cards that I want to take here are Arcanist Owl, Enchanted Carriage, and Outflank. This guy comes in fourth, and then I could, would consider a Scalding Cauldron. Um, I think here I should just take... I should just take this carriage. Ugh, that doesn't feel good, man. Okay. Food. Um, Fairy Guide Mother is actually really good. This Wishing Well. This Wishing Well works pretty well. It's an artifact. I wonder if this white, this white, uh, blue artifacts is gonna keep going. Because this Fairy Guide Mother is actually pretty good. It works fine in, like, uh, I found I had a lot of success in white green. Hmm. Silver Flame Ritual is fine. Witching Well is good, but there was, I already passed on all my artifact synergies. Do I keep pushing a food deck here? This is a fine reason to be in a food deck. I'm going to take the Curious Pair. And now I think I have to try to shift away from it. I could take this Forever Young, though. But it looks like there's a lot of good aggressive white cards. There's even a moon, Moonlit Scavengers for this artifact synergy. This isn't even an artifact card. Man, this is tough. This is the best card in the pack, I believe. Fairy Guide Mother. This Seven Dwarves here could be fine if we ended up back in a red deck. But I don't really want to take Seven Dwarves. I think I'm going to take the Guide Mother. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of good black cards. And white-green adventures is a pretty solid combo here. Uh, Runaway Together is fine. Smitten Swordmaster is fine. Uh, Merrileaf Rider, though, is pretty good. We already have a little bit of food. Um, I like Smitten Swordmaster, but I don't think Smitten Swordmaster is going into any kind of knight thing that we're doing here. And Merrily Fred is pretty good to pick up here. Okay, oh, a Steel Claw Lance. I'm pretty far from that, but there is a Golden Egg, which is probably what I'm looking for. More food, a little bit of fixing. Uh, I'm pretty far from a Steel Claw Lance. And then also this blue here, seeing some red, seeing some black. Golden egg it is. So let's see what wield. Okay, so this Wildwood Tracker wield. Um, again, a non-human uh, non-human payoff. So we are kind of doing a non-human thing right now. And I don't really love any of these cards. I could see... This is the only reason for us to be black. So I don't see a reason to pick something else. I mean, the Bargin could be fine if this deck goes red, but this Wildwood Tracker... This Wildwood Tracker doesn't really fit the deck. But if we do end up in a white-green deck, that could be good. So I think I'll take it. Okay, another Wildwood Tracker. But there's also a Scalding Cauldron. That was my first removal. I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, Rosestone Halberd, actually, fine. Non-humans. I think I'm mostly non-humans here. Elf. Elf. These are humans, but these are not. So I'll take that. Um, Bloodhaze Wolverine. Crashing Drawbridge. Uh, it's technically kind of aggressive, so let's take it. It's also an artifact. Okay. So it looks like green is pretty open. Let's see what we get here. Gadwick is... Gadwick's good. Um, hmm, there's a Lucky Clover. So right now, no reason to be black. 
I mean, just this Bagnati here. That's like the only reason to be black. Uh, in terms of... We also just kind of want this, these food synergies, but we don't really have many. So, Ardenville Tactician is excellent. If I pick Lucky Clover, it works with this Fairy Guide Mother. It doesn't really work with anything else. So this Curious Pair. And this is a human. So I think Gadwick is good, for sure. But I don't think this deck wants to play Gadwick. It looks like it's a little bit more aggressively skewed. I'm pretty far from playing Improbable Alliance. This Fireborn Knight is absolutely not going to make my deck. We're nowhere near Mill. There's some White. There's a Ginger Brute to be aggressive. I think it is definitely between Lucky Clover and Ardenvale Tactician. So, White... White, um, green are, is the best co co color combination for adventures. So this is kind of tough. There's some solid green guys. I think, I think I can try to take this lucky clover. I just, I just kind of want to, want to try it out. Oh my gosh. Another lucky clover. Um, okay. Now there's also a scorching dragon fire. I don't really want to take another Lucky Clover. Like, that's great, for sure. But Mantle of Tides is probably not making this deck. Overwhelmed Apprentice is probably not making this deck. Uh, I feel like I'm really leaning towards this white, um, this white green deck here. Um, it's not too late to just be um, a red green deck, though. So I kind of want to. I kind of want this Scorching Dragonfire. It's an excellent card, and I'm not really taking anything else here. To be honest, it would it would be this Lucky Clover, but I don't really have the payoffs for the Double Lucky Clover currently. So maybe it's just back to white. Uh, back to. I feel like I didn't see a lot of good red. Can I pass on the Dragonfire? This is tough. This is tough. This this card's gonna gonna make my deck. As long as I get the synergies here. But what is my deck trying to do? I think it's trying to be big, stompy, and aggressive. I got I don't have a lot of early drops. I want this dragon fire, man. Animating fairy. Got some artifacts for it. Oh man, this is tough. I'm going to take the Scorching Dragonfire because I don't know. I feel like this Bognaughty is not going to make it. And I have one good white card. Red. Red Adventures are what? I mean, Rimrock Knights, Ember Shield Breakers. There's not a lot of great red, uh, red adventure cards here. I did see some white. I'm going to take this Lucky Clover, man. Oh, man, I hope that doesn't, like, absolutely ruin my life. Okay. So now... An OK Ranger is fine. With the two Lucky Clovers, that could be an instant little board. Uh, we're not going to be playing this Arcanist Owl. Uh, Fierce Witchstalker is excellent. Uh, but I think trying to get some adventures here would be good. But... This guy doesn't really have a lot of guys to pump, and it also makes humans. So do I take Witch Stalker over this Okam Ranger, or do I take this Tuinvel Tree Folk and get a ton of adventure triggers? Witch Stalker's really good. I mean, I think if I'm trying to do the white... If I'm trying to do the white green deck, I'm trying to go wide. So I have these little wildwood trackers. I'm going to give it a shot. I found that this card isn't fantastic. Okay, and there's another fairy. Um, Heraldic Banner can help me fix a little bit. Clockwork Servant is always excellent. It feels like this deck is going to be a little heavier green. But I kind of feel like this Fairy Guide Mother is going to help me be aggressive and widen out. And with these double Lucky Clovers, it can sneak in a win sometimes, I feel like. Um, so why don't we... This is a splash, technically, but... I feel like this sneaky fairy guide mother, mother is going to be really solid. Let's keep taking white. 
and now there's a spinning wheel, which I feel like is an excellent card. Trapped in a tower is really good. I feel like I need to take that as my first removal spell. So I'm trying to be aggressive. I want this spinning wheel, because it helps me fix, but I'm not splashing a bog naughty. And I'm not splashing either of these blue cards. I want this two unveil, but trapped in the tower is good removal. I feel like I'm pretty confident being getting a little bit of white in here now. Silver flame could be good. Shepherd of the flock. <clears throat> uh, copying that with copying that with the lucky clovers is not going to be excellent. Silver flame could be fine. Um, outflank could be good too, but I really have to go wide. I think I kind of am going wide, so I'm going to take the outflank. Now this is just a good card. You just take that. Oh, hello. Wandermare. Okay. So Wandermare, so this makes me feel like this color combination is open. Uh, if not the colors themselves. But I'm definitely taking Wandermare, and now I'm absolutely doubling down on any adventures that I can find. So that feels good, actually, now that I picked... I'm glad I picked that guy up. Okay. And now a Silver Flame could be okay. Uh, let's take out Bognaughty. Drawbridge. I don't really know how I feel about that. Could be good to be a little aggressive. It can give, uh, it can make... The uh, Drawbridge actually might be okay, because it'll give my Okame Ranger haste. Um, uh, terrible card. Kind of a keep is fine. It's like a three drop, and I need some three drops, but Silver Flame, it's nothing special, and Silver Flame can be really good as long as you're wide. And it looks like I have some ability to widen out, so let's try to do that. Okay. Um, now I feel maybe okay with this guy. This is a three mana three. Th well, that's not guaranteed a three mana three three. I could take this Prize Griffin. Prize Griffin is nothing special, though. And non-humans, let's see. That's a human. That's a human. So three, four. Yeah, Rosestone Halberd's not great in this in this build, so I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm just gonna go with the Prize Griffin. It's nothing special, but it's it can it can do stuff. This is not a human. Um, I feel fine just taking a nice little two drop here. Nothing to get excited about, but. Still a solid pickup. Uh, Gingerbread Cabin could be fine. Um, what other Wildwood Tracker? Hmm. Looks like I am getting pretty aggressive here. My issue is that I don't feel like I have a ton of uh, non-humans. And I like Grange. I might. Oh, another idea like Grange. I might prefer to play the Grange over any of these other ones. So, hmm. Wow, this is not a great pack for me. Um. Once in Future is a good late game card. I'm miles away from Midnight Clock. Fireboy Knight, I mean, no. <laughs> Once in Future is gonna get something, gonna get stuff back. Getting like a Fairy Guide Mother back could be could be a relatively big game. I think uh, I'm not gonna be able to sacrifice things to fulfill the Sorcerer Broom requirements. But yeah, this is just a bad pack for me. I think another Wildwood Tracker, but like Wildwood Tracker is just gonna get gonna get beat, and I already have three of them. I'm gonna take once a future. That's tough, man. Okay, okay. So Keeper of Fables, love it, but there's also an Ardenvale Tactician. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a mysterious path light, but I don't have a lot of adventures. And this can tap an entire board with a, a Lucky Clover. So, let's find my adventure creatures. One, two. I don't even think I'll play this guy. So, let's, let's say two tentatively. Three. Four, five. I feel like I can't get the path lighter until I've picked up the other cards. And this guy, I think, is going to be fine here because he's big. This deck needs an Ardenvale type fish. Okay, so oh, there's a Rose Thorn. Rose Thorn could ramp here, but Glass Casket is um, is excellent removal. Um, absolutely premium removal. This can help ramp to nothing in particular, to be honest. Uh, and I think it's important to have like think to have access to things like Glass Casket. But in this deck, I mean, 
for the Wandermare. It ramps a little bit. That's tough. That's real tough. He's also not a human. Man. Oh, I gotta take the glass casket. Okay, so now there's an out muscle. There's also just two invalidatory folk, which can absolutely transform the board later. And I've got a couple of removal spells now that are pretty solid. I don't have anything like... I guess Trapped in the Tower is largely unconditional. There's not like crazy flyers here. And this uh, can try to return something later. So let's go two invalidatory folk with the idea that we can like light up something that's flying. I think I like that, even over the out muscle. My guys aren't gigantic. They're not going to be able to really capitalize on out muscle, I don't think. Um... Pretty happy there, and a Lonesome Unicorn is probably exactly what this deck is looking for. Something to fill the 3-drop slot, it's an adventure, it can make a couple knights. Love that. Uh, another Rose Thorn Halberd. It's nothing else for me here, really. So I'm going to take it, because I'm not playing any of these other cards. Oh, Rose Thorn, excellent. Okay. So let's look at the the early drops here. I could, I mean, I have this other jousting dummy, but I really feel like it's got to be Rose Thorn here, um, with the double lucky clover. Two drops. I've got some decent. I got some two drops. I got a bunch of one drops. So let's go Rose Thorn for sure. Rose Thorn's got a great body on it. Uh oh, youthful knight. Yeah, please. Hello. All right. That's really gonna shore shore up some uh. Some spots here in the defenses. So Wildwood Tracker. So the my the issue here is I'm not really capitalizing on this Keeper of Fables, unfortunately. Um, because I'm really split. Oh, this isn't a human. This is just a knight. That's pretty good. Uh, I do have some ability some ability to go wide. I've got the Enchanted Carriage. It's gonna buff some things. Fairy Guide Mother can be a threat in the air. Ardville Tactician, if it gets piled on with counters, can be pretty good. Um, I really feel like the Curious Pair is not what I'm looking for in this deck. Uh, do I take the Wildwood Tracker? I don't really think I'm going to play any of these ones, so let's just take the Wildwood Tracker. We're not playing best of three. Fortifying Provisions is not good. Yeah. Hengewalker. I'm not, probably not going to play that one. Another Rose Thorn Halberd. This deck could be, like, a crazy aggressive, I think. I just feel like... I mean, I have four Wildwood Trackers. I need five Wildwood Trackers. Let's look at the non-humans in this deck. Four. A lot of humans. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Probably not playing that. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Well, actually, you know what? I mean, just kind of piling some... uh. Rose Thorn Halberds on stuff could be pretty solid, but I already have two of them. I'm going to take another one. Okay. Nothing crazy here. And yeah, nothing crazy here. Okay. All right. Okay. I think this deck is... This deck is something. Um, I might just end up playing both these little Rose Thorn... These, I've got three Rose Thorn Halberds. That's crazy. Um, so let's take out obvious things I don't really want to play. So I like Youthful Knight. It's a nice, aggressive guy. Uh, do I have the food to capitalize on the Merrileaf Rider? I have one Golden Egg, which I'll probably just keep in there. Um, Merrileaf Rider is pretty solid. No food. Silver Flame is fine. Okay, Ranger is fine. Um, Prize Griffin is nothing special. This helps me go a little wider. But souping up a, a prize griffin with like a rose thorn halberd is pretty solid. So I have 48 cards. Uh, let's count the adventures one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So do I want to play two lucky clovers? I have eight. Seven effects that I'd like multiple copies of. Hmm. 
This is tough. Not sure what to take out here. I'm going to take out a Halberd. If I want to play aggressive, Wildwood Tracker is definitely what I should be playing. But do I need this many, like, one drops? And I have to have a non human. This crushing drawbridge probably doesn't need to be in there. This deck feels more, feels aggressive to me. Oh wow, look at this art. I never realized there were two little kids on the back of the uh on the back of the fox. That's why it makes two creature tokens. Um I probably let's see, what's my split here? I am actually mostly white. And with Ardenvale Tactician, I probably want to go up a little bit on the whites. So let's cut down one of the granges. Let's cut down on the forests. But then I got these these Wildwood trackers that are that are early drops. I understand that Wildwood Tracker is a good card. I just I feel like I have not used it very much, to be honest. And of my Man, I'm sorry this takes so long for me. Of my sixteen creatures, how many of them are humans? Actually I think I can just look right here. Three? Oh. Well okay. Wildwood Tracker it is. These are mice. I feel like I can just take out this griffin. Griffin's fine. Silver flame. Um, my ability to go kind of wide is nice. I mean, I've got some guys putting a little counter on this uh, on this youthful knight is pretty good. Do I want to go down on lands in this deck? It's, I'm actually at 15 right now, so I actually need to go up in lands. So I'm at a 15. So I'm at a 9. I could do a 9 7. 9 7 seems fine. I want to be able to get those. To get those, uh, get these green guys in at some point. Keeper Fables is double. An idea like range is probably fine. Puts me at 16. I feel like 16 is okay in this deck. I am trying to go a little high though, aren't I? This thing dodges removal pretty well. Hmm. I think that seems that seems okay to me. What is not fitting this deck the most? Prize Griffin could just, like, do stuff. I feel like Prize Griffin, I always feel like Prize Griffin's going to be better, but it's so vanilla, and it's just kind of slow. Um, by the time this comes out, it's not usually doing anything crazy. As a white deck, it's nice to have some flyers, but I could buff up my the flyers that I already have here. God, if I ever want to use this Shepherd of the Flock, I'm just going to have to return multiple things with my Lucky Clovers. I could, maybe I just drop one of the Lucky Clovers. No. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna try the Lucky Clovers out. I could take them out if I need to. Let's just take out one of the. Um, I feel like it's one of these two. It's three white. I can probably do that. What's the future? This can return my Wandermare. Return my fairy godmother to win the game. I'm just gonna go. I feel like I want that silver flame though, man. This is tough. Do I just take out this lucky clover? Cause it's not like crazy what I'm doing with the lucky clover. It's good. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take out a lucky clover and I'm gonna put in one silver flame ritual. And we'll play that. Alright. So I've played some good 
Um, that took a full half an hour. That's crazy. <laughs> I really like I really like thinking about these Eldraine picks. Um, I've played with some some excellent um, green white decks. Um, and this one this one's close. It's they tend to be a little bit. It's not well. I mean, it's, this one's not great, but they tend to be more aggressive. Um, they tend to have a few smaller creatures. Um, looks like... Uh, this looks pretty good to me. I go first, too, so I get Jousting Dummy, Jousting Dummy, and I can try to Halberd it for it to swing in. And Grange, so I can just play Grange on turn one. Oh, I don't have I don't have mana for Halberd, but I can get Lucky Clover, and I'm going to keep it. Give me a shot. Because I have plays. I can take out important stuff that when it comes up. I have to keep in mind that this is most of my removal here. Scalding Cauldron is my other my, my other piece of removal. Let's look at this pet. Okay. So I deal with Grange. And pass. Hello to opponent. Sure hope I draw a land here. Okay. No, I definitely want to draw a land. Uh, Jousting Dummy to be a little aggressive. If we get nothing, Lucky Clover. Okay. Oh, wow. Hello. Okay. So now I could just Rose Thorn and Lucky Clover. I feel like that's right. We'll see if they want to use a removal spell on my Jousting Dummy. That resolved a little quick. Okay. Okay. And Lucky Clover. So now I'm set up for a Wandermeer next turn. Hopefully I draw into some... Uh, draw into some plays here. If they just tap out, I can probably trap whatever they play. I don't like playing that aggressively. I prefer playing more... Okay. A do-nothing enchantment is fine with me. Um, so I could... Yeah, I think that's not going to be worth it, I don't think. Go Wandermare. So now I'm sitting on two removal spells. I have a good amount of solid draws here. That's an excellent one. Uh, I definitely... I feel like I want to hold this guy to tap my opponent's things down. Uh, let's go to combat. See if they have a response. Looks like they might not. Well, we'll attack. It's probably not worth it to just pump this. So they have a dragon fire. That's okay. So that's fine. Oh, I can't even play tactician, so I have to hold it. Uh, another land lets me equip this guy, which could be good. Uh, that's fine with me, man. If they want to hit, if they want to try to hit me here. That's cool. So let's go. Um, I think I just maybe just trapped in a tower this guy and try to keep forcing through damage. That's fine. So I can trap in the tower, but I cannot equip. If I equip, uh, he's still big enough. So let's just trap in the tower here. So it looks like we're going to live the dream of just out aggroing the opponent here. That's also a human. <clears throat> okay. So I can't tap that. good. So I can play both of these and get to five. I think I just play this one.
And they're dead on board to Ardenville Tactician. Okay. So opponent had a really slow start, which kind of let us get aggressive. Alright, GG. An opponent does not have a way to respond to the flyers. Okay. So, I feel like this game here kind of gave me some direction with the deck. It feels... I mean, that was an interesting situation because the opponent just did nothing for the entire time. Um, but, this deck feels like it could be aggressive. Um, so, I have tools to make it more aggressive. Perhaps I want to try to swap that out. Um, I, I feel like these double hel these double halberds and the two trackers. I th I think this deck is still fine. I think it's fine. The flyer really came in handy there. Silver flame also could have been fine on my flyer. Hmm. Let's keep it going. So that feels good. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if you could hear that uh, neck crack. So I've been uh, I've been away from away from Arena for quite a bit now. Um, I've been away from Arena for quite a bit now. I've been studying really hard for um, the PT boards I'm going to be taking in October. Um, but I I feel I felt like I had to come back for Eldrain. Like I mean I'm not going to miss Eldrain. I still got a couple like about a week and a half left to enjoy it. Okay, so Loathsome Unicorn's fine, Golden Egg on turn 2 is fine, and I still go first, so I can get that Grange down, and just keep plugging away, make a Unicorn. That seems okay to me. It's not a human. It's not a human, so I can, uh, hello. How rude of me. Oh, Lucky Clover. Um... Okay, well now Lucky Clover into making two knights seems like the right move. And then I can go try to Golden Egg for that next land. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh god, whew. Whew! Scared me, man. Pause my recording is a bit of a pain, to be honest. Um, so I go Youthful Knight here. Um, I mean, I definitely just attack with these two right now, so let's do it. See if they have some splashy stuff. Okay, staying aggressive. Do I Golden Egg? I feel like I just want to put down the Youthful Knight. And I can hold up Shepard. Oh. Return target permanent you control. Oh, I can kind of land if I wanted. That's funny. Um, okay. Maybe it was, maybe be right. No, it's not right to play Fairy Guide Mother because it can gain, it can give something four power. Uh, okay. Nothing special here. Uh, two unveil with a land would be really nice. Uh, now it feels like this is where I just get aggressive. So let's... They, re they can't block Youthful Knight. Oh, wait, I can just do both. So now let's see if they have a removal spell. They don't. Attacks everyone. Maybe they have an opt. They could take out my youthful knight. Or they could take out, yeah, just the youthful knight. If they had... Oh. Okay. They're going to let me deal like 8 damage to them? That's fine with me. And now I have a flyer in the air. If I get a land, I 
I think I just win next turn. So being aggressive for sure. Something I would like to throw out here. I don't want to say like, you know, I, I don't want to say that this is the reason I'm winning, but I am down in, um, I'm in the bottom of bronze right now because I haven't I'm not played, uh, I haven't played in a while. So the the rankings have reset, and I haven't done a draft in a bit. So yeah. So essentially, <laughs> that is not a great move. Like I mean, they could have just saved it. What if I try to adventure that, and they can blow the guy up in response? Um, I'm just glad they didn't have it last turn. So here, uh, Blood Haze didn't have an ability last time. So... Oh, I should have played, just probably just played the Golden Egg. I'm going to play the Golden Egg to see if I get something else. First on Halberd's nice. Oh! I could play it with a uh, golden egg. But I think I'd rather keep that green to kind of just put a bunch of counters on this guy here. So let's go here. I'd now be fine returning the... Uh, ooh, returning Fairy Guide Mother might just get me the win. Uh, let's just stay aggressive here. They'd have to draw a card to give this guy first strike. I think they have to do it right now. Wow. Okay. Alright, so we got opponent dead next turn. Um, and I could just return the shepherd, return this fairy guide mother to my hand. I suppose I would just like return a golden egg or something. But they're dead to. Equipping Rose Thorn, putting counters on things. Ginger Brute, it's fine. So I just. I've, pl I've played a lot of Eldraine. Okay, so they do have life to. Uh, they do have mana to sacrifice this guy for food. I've played a lot of Eldraine, and when I play against certain players, like I've noticed down here in the, like, the bottom of the bronze here, they're just making suboptimal moves, and I'm not saying I'm great. Like, I'm fine. I understand the, uh... I understand how this game works. Are they going to attack me? Because they haven't had removal this entire time. Yeah, you got it, man. Okay. So I'm going to come out with them for 7 next turn. I'm saying I, I, I'm not I'm not a professional, but... There's just little things that... Okay. There's little things down here that I notice where this a deck's not built off, not built, like, ideally. Eldraine is an older set now, um, relatively, so there could be people that just don't know how to draft it, and I... The, the, the only reason I'm bringing this up is I don't feel I've built a strong deck, um, but I have built a deck that does what white-green is trying to do, which is be somewhat aggressive. Uh, and also capitalizes some adventure payoffs, and I've seen a black-green knight's deck, sorry, a black-red knight's deck with, I suppose those were two knights, but it had no low drops to equip with that Steel Claw Lance, and then that was a, um, oh my gosh, what deck did I just play? Hmm. Wow. Uh, oh, oh there's, that was a red-blue deck that did draw a second card the entire time. Um... So I go first. Wow, I'm on the draw as the aggressive deck. I feel like you hold the Fairy Guide Mother because it's pretty big game to uh, give this guy flying. This hits for seven off of a Lucky Clover, and then Lonesome, Chim Lonesome Chimera. So with a land, this has an excellent curve out. Silver Flame Ritual is fine to uh, pump up a Fairy Guide Mother. Opponent has Mulligan, so three games in a row. We go white because we're predominantly white. Um, 
No, this adds this adds four power to something, so it's I feel like it's worth holding. Okay, that's pretty good. So I think we go Mary Leaf here, just be a little aggressive. With a land, I can go Lucky Clover. Without a uh, without a land, it's kind of okay. All right. So here, do I want to try to trade? I can do the Lonesome. I'm not going to do the Lonesome until I've got the Lucky Clover out. So let's do Lucky Clover. Um, do I want to offer the trade? No, because I'm going to make it huge next turn. I think. They're also playing. Oh, wow! They're doing my thing. Okay. Alright. Pretty good, my man. It's a little better when I do it, though, I think. So, why don't... I'm low on this white land here. So, I think I just go... Attack with the Merrileaf. And make two... Two, two soldiers. I can give them both flying. Breaks my silver flame ritual better. Uh, I feel fine blocking this guy. Uh, yeah, not a good play. Really. Um, wow, this is a bit of a bummer that I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of stuff here. But let's just get aggressive, I think. We'll just hit for a billion. And we can do that again next turn. So they're dead on board without some interaction. If they tap out, I just got them here. Having an outflank could be good for them. Alright, so it's going to happen. Alright. So if I draw a white land, there it is. Alright, if I draw a white land, it's Ardenvale Tactician to tap that down, and then hit for seven. No, so we go... Not seven, more than seven. Alright. Oh, we're aggressive in here. That is why I took the Arden Bell Tactician over the Pathlighter. In this deck, uh, as an aggressive deck like this, Tactician is excellent. Definitely a premium white 3 drop. So this is moving pretty quickly, um, since we're an aggro deck. Show me something good here. Show me something good here. Uh, okay. So... Opponent goes first. So the first time we're not on the play. Um, so I get the draw. So one, two. I have both my colors. I think this is a keep. I've got some removal. I've got a tactician. And... Oh, I lost the turn one play. That's okay. It, I'd rather actually hold the, the Scalding Cauldron. And use for four mana. Ooh, so we're playing a control deck here. Alright, another land is excellent. Uh, no need to show them what other colors we are. Let's just go Youthful Knight. So we're looking at just, uh, I mean, this should be a control mill deck. Okay. Smitten. Alright. So, here, for three mana, I don't really have anything crazy. Attacking into this Swordmaster isn't awesome, because it will just gain them back the two life. Silver Flame's not going to do anything crazy, but we can keep marching towards it. I can play the Scalding Cauldron, and then still have the Tactician open. Hmm. 
Or I could play the tactician. I don't feel like that's the right move. Let's just do this. And not attack. Life gain's kind of a pain for my deck. So now, once in the future, could be fine to get things like that back. Mm, 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 mm. Ardenvale Tactician's not great in this spot, I don't think. So I'm just gonna... I mean, they can't even block me, really. Fairy Guidemother seems fine here. Fairy Guidemother blocks uh, a Smitten and takes it out, even if they gain some life. I can hit for a bit, and then it's pretty nice to Silver Flame it. Or I could just... Hardenvale? This is tough. So I, I hit them for four, but maybe it's just better to just play out my, my threats. And then Silver Flame next turn, and then I can get Silver Flame back. Corridor Monitor. Cordar Monitor blocks, uh... Hmm. I like this guy, for sure. I feel like I just Silver Flame here. So they have Vigilance and plus one plus one counter, so they can't even block my guy. Yeah, I'd be able to take out both their Smittens, so let's just do this. Hope they don't have Drown in the Lock. Oh, they don't. And I think they all have Vigilance, so I attack all. Flash of Thorn, alright. So that's going to take out my guy, that's a bit of a bummer. Flash of Thorn's not a great card in my opinion. Opt is fine. Once in future, could get back the uh, Silver Flame. I was about to say, I hope I draw a land. Um, so I could just take out one of these Sword Masters. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Put one another on top of your library. So I could put the Youthful Knight on there, but then I wouldn't be able to do both in the same turn. So maybe I just play the Tracker? Attacks or blocks if I control another non-human. So technically I could block this guy. I think I kind of like that threat, to be honest, so let's just keep swinging. So I can trade Wildwood Tracker and Scalding Cauldron for their their guys here. Hold up my good removal. Lockmere Serpent is possible here. Okay. Let's block. See if they have something. They don't. So they don't gain any life. They gain two life here. Now they're tapped out. If they have Lockmere Serpent, I'm going to trap them and tower it, which is. Okay. Um, so that's pretty solid. I can't trap it. I can keep attacking with my Tactician, though. Um, and then I can get back. Maybe I can just get back Scalding Cauldron right now in Silver Flame. Or I could play this guy. I think that seems okay. I'm going to attack with this guy. So if I just do this... 
Should return my hand, Scalding Cauldron, and I think Silver Flame. I think I like how that shaped up. So now I can take out Vantress Paladin. Hit for a lot, unless they have removal. Okay. So here, let's try to do this first. See if they have something. They don't. Yeah, so I'm just really feeling like my opponents don't have the answers that I would expect. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll do Merrily. And if I draw a land here, an opponent plays nothing, they're dead. And I'm still just plugging away with this Guide Mother. Okay. Uh, Golden Egg feels pretty good. I could just Silver Flame right now and make this a pretty tough hit. They could have Counter Spell. They're leaving all their mana open. Seems like I could just do no. I wanna I wanna do Silver Flame. I think let's just do Silver Flame. Opponent does not... I don't expect them to have a counter now. Alright, so they had Lockmere Serpent. So, this is... This is something that... This is, this is something that makes me feel that my opponents don't have, like... Very well-constructed decks. Um, is when I try to... When I do things and imagine all the things I can be punished by... If it doesn't happen, I just kind of conclude that my opponents aren't playing the, the right cards. The Queen of Ice. Okay. So, I'm going to take some hits here. But unless they have Drown in the Lock, they're not going to be able to stop me from Trapped in a Towering this guy. Uh, let's play the Forest. Definitely have to trap this. I hope they don't have Drown. Wow. Oh, that's tough. Um, okay. Let's go here. Man, yeah, that's, that's not great. Oh, don't freeze on me, please. So, now with that Lockmere Serpent, I'm a little worried. Now I'm thinking, do I play this guy? I could hit for three. I could hit for four next turn. But I think I'm kind of dead after that. Hit for two. I think I'm just going to stay here. Ooh, I don't like that. I can gain a little bit of life on the same turn that I do all these things. Yeah. So I could get, um, I could get Lucky Clover. That'd be insane. Okay, no Lucky Clover. Well, I can gain some life. Let's see if they have removal. If they have removal, they can't get Lockmere Serpent back out. Okay, and we play it. And then gain three life. So really close, but this guy's going to gain them the little bit of life. I think they they need to stay in this. Um, I don't have any more ways to draw cards, so I think I'll just hold on to this. Um, I have to block actually. They have to they they have to swing out to hit me though. Not sure where they did that. So it is exact seas. And they can gain all they can gain all the life they need.
Oh, I mean, obviously they did that for that reason. Okay, so not dead, but they're going to be able to gain, was it, four life here and draw four cards? Yeah, so I think opponents got us here on the back of Lockmere Serpent. I can't really think of the card here that's gonna win this for me. I didn't even chance it. Well, okay, opponent got it. Well, well, no, they're unblockable. Okay, GG. Okay. Yeah, so that was tough. So I, I was gonna be able to hit them for two there, but they had the ability to gain three more life up to six, and they were coming out with Lockmere. So Lockmere, good reason to be in a blue-black deck. I would take a not-so-great blue-black deck, to play Lockmere Serpent. And that little bit of life gain is just going to put it over the edge when you're trying to be aggressive. Making me wait here too. Oh man, it's, it's toasty in this room. Come on, don't make me wait. I want to bash people with my little flyers. There we go. great hand, I don't think. It's, there's no aggressive things in it. Run some futures, a late game, Rose Thorn Halberd. Shepherd of the Flock is fine, this is good removal, but this isn't even equipped to Rose Thorn. But it's got decent stuff. Once a future could try to get me back into things later. Maybe once the future just not be in this deck. I think I'm going to take it out. I'm thinking I don't have a lot of white, a lot of green sources. Let's keep. I have glass casket, so I can clear out some guys, and I might just play. I think I'm just gonna play Shepherd, depending on the colors they represent. And I don't want to do that. Let's give him a hello. Okay. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Um, that is pretty nice, huh? I think I'm going to go... I think I'm just going to play the Shepherd here. So these double hal Halberds are going to make one of my... It's going to make someone look real tough. Oh, this is tough. I cannot block these guys. So... I'll just try to draw into another guy here and just take some damage. Nice. Um, oh shoot! I could have, <laughs> I could have played this guy. Um, probably be worth it to keep to try to gain some life from this later. Oh man, this kind of sucks. It can block pretty well, so let's try that. Be able to go fairy guide mother and then double halberd on it. No blocks. Giant skewer, pretty tough. Ooh, I don't like that actually. That's gonna make it a big. Oh, too big for my fairy guide mother. Oh no! Opponent's got some good stuff going on here. So now it's actually Wandermare equipped with a halberd. But one of their guys is going to be too big for Wandermare. Shoot. Oh! I give it flying. Yes! Alright. So tough, for sure. But, 
They're out of cards. Um, they're out of cards. I could just glass casket one of these guys. Um, I can break this guy out of jail. And then just play a halberd, I guess. Um, I suppose I can try to block here, which could be fine. I can just make a battle bus here. Oh, I probably should just save that egg. I will just block one of these guys, I think. Lord went noble, so they're going wide, but they cannot attack, so I have a lot of green. Uh, I can do the Fairy Guide Mother again. Swordmaster could be a pain, but I can block and trade with it. So I play this. These two guys together can take out my guy. This glass casket is kind of important. Man, this is tough. Hmm. Wow, I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, I guess I should just glass casket the most immediately dangerous guy and then gain the life before they can sacrifice it. Malevolent Noble. Oh no! That's devastating. Okay. They should have kept that in case I draw. Oh, two and Vel. Hello. Um, two and Vel. Two and Vel plus fairy guide mother. Um, so I can put it on this. They got a couple of guys. Oh no, I'd rather put it on my flyer. So now I have a 3-3, three, three. they can have 4 power, I think I'm just going to pass again. Reaper of Night is going to be pretty good, but they, they're they not super close to casting it. It's going to be close, because once that Reaper gets off, it's going to be a bad news bears for our hero here. Alright, one more land and they're at Reaper. And I really can't do anything about Reaper. Fine. Okay, well, actually, that's fine. Um, so now, I think I could attack with this guy, and they'd have to trade most of their guys for it. Trade, like, two of them. Or I just cast this guy first and I have to trade with all of them. So they could kill it, but they'd have to lose their entire board to do that. And they're not going to be able to take two removal spells off the top. Okay. And I can... Actually... I might just get them here. If they play incorrectly. 
Okay. So... They have to block this guy. This guy is first strike. I could move one of the halberds onto this. Which would make this guy a... 7-6. Still needs to be blocked by at least two guys. To be killed. It does change my clock, so I think I'm going to equip it. So let's think. If I attack with everyone, they have to block. They actually have to block everyone. So this blocks here, this blocks here, this blocks here. And they hit me for four. I'm actually dead if I do that. So I go here. And maybe just attack with just the Wandermare. So they have to block with somebody. So they don't have enough to take me out. Okay. So now we end. Hope they don't draw anything crazy off the top. Fairy Guide Mother would do it. Oh god. This thing's gonna be a flyer. But I can block both. They'll get some food. I think they're working out if they can attack me and not die. Yep. Okay, just trying to gain some life. Good. So... If they attack me, I think they're dead. So let's see. I could just not... Deals combat damage to a creature. So they're going to go up to six. I don't block. And then I go one, two, three. They're dead. And then they check Giant Skewer and see that that's not how it works. Oh, well, never mind. I've been... Oh, no, wait, they're just dead, because I just do this. Okay. All right, that was good. That was a good game. Fairy God, I'm telling you, Fairy Godmothers really, really, really solid in uh, the white-green aggro deck. Alright. Feeling pretty solid about this deck. Okay, this actually looks great. Um, I think here... Do I play the Fairy Guide Mother and then just hit it with a Rose Thorn? Halberd? And just start hitting for three on turn two? I think so. Don't know what our opponent's playing here, but I have a removal spell. I have another follow-up creature. Blue. All right. Uh, oh, wow. That was that could have been bad. Um, now, I think I actually just keep widening the board out, instead of playing the, uh, the Halberd. I don't want to miss out on that extra three damage if they don't play anything. I don't, I don't like dumping my hand really quickly, that just makes me, like, uncomfortable. Okay, two blue. Sure. Arnvel Tactician feels pretty good. Keep us nice and aggressive. And we'll pop on the Fairy Guide Mother. Okay. Uh, 
I feel fine tapping down Queen of Ice if they end up playing it. Queen of Ice, one of the not-so-great adventure creatures, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it delays the game. Uh, it does a pretty good job delaying the game, but I find that... Okay, so they're not playing another one of these guys. I find that it really doesn't... It just buys you a turn, and if, like, you're really behind, it doesn't do anything except kind of delay things. Oh, ho, 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 okay. Woo! All right. I don't like that. We are hitting... We're gonna, gonna, we are going to hit for quite a bit here. Um, I think it's fine to hold off on Grange right now. Um... I think holding up this tactician is probably pretty pretty solid here to tap down something. If they have an opt again, ugh, home raider. That's not good. Okay. Certainly a good thing they've got going on here. I'm not gonna be able to trap most of their stuff. I'm sure they would be happy to trade with my Mary Leaf Rider. Um, I suppose I'm going to... Oh, I can tap full. Wow. Oh, I forgot how awesome Ardenville Tactician is. For one red, they don't have anything right now. Ram through. Comes to mind. No, ram through. <laughs> uh, barge in. Comes to mind. But I'm going to hit them pretty hard here. Um, oh, are they almost just dead here? I can get them really low. I think that's probably just correct. So it makes it really hard for them to... Which one do I want to put it on, though? A flyer or the little guy? This guy can't attack currently. So then I can follow this up with Ardenvale Tactician. So, uh, I don't know. If if opponent keeps drawing things, um, I think I do play the, the Grange here. Because so I could get a 2 Veil. I could also move around my Rose Thorn. So, uh, let's see what they do here. They just play this guy. I mean, they could definitely have some sort of removal spell. Okay, so they draw a card. They make the guy. Another red man is gone. It's a good device. So they could have uh, so tiny. This is tough. So I could trap them tower this on the bottom. And then play Ardenvale Tactician. And then just keep swinging. And just kind of remove their board. And then just have more flyers. So I hope they don't have the so tiny. Lose our flyer, but they lose their board, and I get to follow up with my own flyer. So I have to play two things here. Uh, with the second red, they could ah, shoot. All right, so then they can play this guy and draw a card. But they are going to have to hold that up. Okay. Well, they got a flyer. All right. Okay. That was close. 
putting our opponent that far down, um, I think was what did it. Really putting the pressure on him with this deck. So the halberd's looking really good. I think two is, I think two is the right number, because we need to have the creatures to support it. I have not seen my Keeper of Fables come out at all. I think it would have done a pretty good job. My little flyers have been poking pretty consistently. Uh, certainly happy with this deck. Again, not the most amazing uh, white-green deck, but it's doing what the white-green deck is supposed to do. It's using adventures, and it's being aggressive. Okay. Feels good, man. Alright, we've been getting great little curve outs here. So, here... I go first again. So I probably do just play the cauldron. I just hold the cauldron. I think I hold it. I'll try to get the rose thorn. I'll keep. Then I can try to pump out to unveil a little early. We'll go white. And we'll hold up the scalding cauldron. So we know what we're up against. Um, so now... I think it's a fine time to... No, that's fine. Let's just pass. I've seen people who are better than me hold the Scalding Cauldron, so... Okay. So I wonder if they have that second Seven Dwarves. Oh, the ramp opportunity here. So I could ramp, and then... I wouldn't be able to play anything. But I think I... Rose Thorn to make them have the... Uh, I Rose Thorn to make them have the second Seven Dwarves. If they attack, they're representing a combat trick, and I can blow that up with a Scalding Cauldron next turn. Okay, so no second Seven Dwarves. They don't attack, so they don't have Barging. So now it's here. Lucky Clover plus Scalding Cauldron. quite enough to make that happen. But uh, in Eldrain, so I don't know, maybe they have worried on their second color. Okay, well, they have the Dwarven Mine, so that's pretty solid. I would say Mono Red is probably the worst possible color combination for Eldrain. Unless they have... Oh man, can you imagine if they drop Torbrand right there? On, <laughs> on their four, as their four drops, I was to say... Mono black is, mono red is bad unless and then they drop Torbred. I would have uh, that would have made me a little sad to be honest. So I can make this gigantic rose thorn right now. Um, they could have some removal though, which would make me a little sad if they took out my two and veil. Do I risk it? I just cast the two and veil. That would be with 5, 2. I wouldn't be able to block the weasel back. So why don't we just, like, trap in the tower the... Rip them to tap out a little bit. I really don't want to lose my, my guy here. They're not going to have any flyers, so trapped in the tower is essentially just removal here. Let's do this. And then hold up Scalding Cauldron. See if they have removal. Good. I'm really glad they did that. Um, Alright. They sacrificed the land. So I'm very glad I didn't do my two Invale Tree Folk. Now I'm fine, probably just taking out the seven dwarves here. Wow. Pretty good, man. Um, barge in can only be used on attackers, so I think I just take out this... They're not going to be able to draw more than one card, so let's just take out the dwarf. I would 
love to get like a little fairy here. Okay. Um, this guy is pretty solid, actually. Oh, and I can just trap them tower that. Uh, what am I really scared of here? I feel fine, just making sure the red, uh, the red guy can't get me. I have used all of my removal though. I really need to pick up some guys. I'm about to make this guy huge. Okay. Okay. So now I have. Let's hope they don't have anything. I don't think they will. They don't. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I kind of like what they did. That's kind of funny. Uh, let's just go to unveil. Uh, they would be able to beat me if they blocked it with every single guy here. So let's go... Let's see. Attacks. You may tap and untap non-human. These are all non-humans. So I think I do this. I get an 8-8. They probably just chump with one of these guys, huh? But if they attack with their raiders, I feel fine with that. Wow. Ferocity, maybe? Ferocity of the Wilds would be pretty pretty clutch for them right now. I'm merrily is gonna do a good job catching them. Uh, and there's some life for me. Even a golden egg. Let's see if I can find like a silver flame. That's even better, I think. Uh, so this is cast a non-creature spell. Cast a creature spell. That has an adventure. So let's just go instant board on them. It's fine. Right, opponent, I feel like they should be blocking here. So we're about to get four 1-1s. One That feels pretty good. I was just thinking OK Ranger has not been showing up, and the opponent concedes. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so what I found is there's a decent amount of mono-colored decks that you can go with, and I really feel like mono-red is not one of them. Um, I like what they did there, where they really pushed that they're playing all red lands. Um all mountains, so they were able to have a bunch of dwarven mines. Uh, I like the idea of that, but then, I mean, maybe they did have ferocity of the, of the wilds, which would have been excellent. Um, it looked like they had all non-humans there, except for that Edinburgh Paladin. Um, so I would have been interested to see their deck, but red is a really solid support color in Eldraine, I think. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't build a mono red deck. It's just not. Uh, I just I just don't feel like that's a very powerful powerful color combination. Not to bag on them, I just that's just that's just what I think. I go first. Uh, jousting dummy, the rose thorn acolyte unlocks all this white. I think that seems okay. Let me give it a shot. I'm very likely to draw a white land instead of a green land. Oh, oh shoot. Well, that's okay. <laughs> to say I have a. That the Rose Thorn is actually fixing for me. So that's really nice. I could have just played a Fairy Guide Mother, but I think we're not doing that. Give me a color combo. Ooh, first food deck. Uh, Silver Flame Ritual is not going to really get me there right now. So. I think I actually feel fine just going here. Getting a little aggressive. Now that we've got that white land. Get down the rose thorn next. And 
now we can try to get the silver flame going. Lost Legion. Pretty solid. Arnvel can tap that down. I can get in for a little bit of extra damage. I'm not sure if it's exactly what I want to do, though. I think just kind of developing with Rosethorn. Probably the right move for me. Um, hmm. Well, now, if I play as Lucky Clover... Now if I play as Lucky Clover... No, because then I, I should just I should just Rose Thorn. Yep, so let's just attack. So now I can draw a land off the top and go Lucky Clover, Ardenvale Tactician. And then swing in past everything I, they've got, I assume. Hope they don't hit me with, like, a uh, Undead... Und uh, Undying Knight? Undead Knight? Hmm. The, uh, the, the dual colored knight. Trying to think here. Missing that land's kind of a bummer, and I really want that. I really want a white land to come up next. I wouldn't mind just pumping everyone with the silver flame. Ooh, Trapland Tower. Okay. Uh, you actually feel pretty good taking that. The two in Veil, though, is going to be kind of a pain to get around. So I have four mana. Um, the six five, though, that's going to be tough. They're kind of far away from that, and I think I should just keep being aggressive. So I trapped in a tower that. And then I play Merrileaf. Maybe it's just fine to just do this. Oh no, because I want more guys so I can... So, I really want to get that white land off the top and do Silver Flame. I imagine that they're holding some kind of removal spell here. Black has such solid removal in this set. In this set. They, even they even have out muscles that would be pretty fine in this position. There we go. <laughs> okay. Idyllic range. Oh, man. That's not what I'm looking for, really. So, I can... just cast this Tactician and then get a Silver Flame going. Oh, no! They cut my mana. Okay. Well, now it's probably just the Clover. No, it's probably not even the Clover. <clears throat> I just attack with everybody? No. I'm just going to attack with the one. They didn't make a land drop, so... Ardenvel Tactician can tap down any of their stuff. I can do it on the end of their turn, and then Silver Flame. No, because I want to get the Tactician down before I Silver Flame. <clears throat> Alright, not a problem. Keeper of Fables. And we'll tap that down. So there's the land. Um, now I can Tactician. I think I really want a Tactician and then Silver Flame. I 
I only have five mana, so I can't pump this guy. Um, I really hope they don't make me discard the Silver Flame. But my Flyers have them on a clock here. That 2 in Veil could be an issue. If they, if they swing out, they're dead. So they have to stay back and block. Close. I'm get, I'm kind of getting under them right now. Ugh, that's not good. Okay. And I draw a card. <clears throat> Ooh, that's actually really good. Is that better than this? So, for three mana... I have only this much. I can make some knights. I think I'd want to go knights before silver flame. So I attack with all and see if they trade me on anything. So, do I pump? I don't think so. It does take a blocker away from them, though. And they wouldn't be able to sacrifice. Uh, they should just trade. This is tough. I think it's more important that I just hit them here. Now I'm wide. They have to hold up this food, most likely. Really hope they don't make me discard. If I draw a white land off top, I'll be doing pretty good. Even just playing this lonesome unicorn is probably going to be fine. Savvy Hunter. Okay, makes two in the blocks. So they're at a virtual six life. Let's see if they want to try to hit me here. Okay, they don't. Wandermare. It's fine. So I do this. They sacrifice a the food. I do not get vigilance on everyone. Is it still the right move here? Let's see. Three. Kill this. Kill this. I get in four. Man. They're about to start making so much food that I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with them. And if I just go Silver Flame, I can really start pressuring them. No. I think I probably just want to do this. Having this thing have Vigilance is probably pretty solid. I'd be more happy trading that off with something. Uh, if I get a fly effect here, it'd be pretty su it's going to be pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty possible they turn the corner here. I hope they just play this 2 in Veil. Really hoping they just play the 2 in Veil. And free combat too, that'd be Oh god! No! So bad! Alright. Um and they have the food. Oh, this is brutal. I have to chump things. And it says death touch, I can't even like double block it. Wow. This uh took a turn. So let's see. If I block here and here, 
I'm left with two guys. I hit it for six. I can hit for six. Oh, wait. I think I can hit for exactly eight. No! Alright. Merrily here. Token here. Take six, and then I've got them. Oh, I don't have them. Alright, wait, so maybe I can block this guy instead, so I don't lose this guy. And then I take... No, this is, I have to do this exactly. Oh, man. Oh, no, but my guide mother! Oh, my gosh. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna win. Oh! <gasps> what have I done? Oh, no! I forgot. Oh, they got me. Oh, I was outplayed! I, w I was dead there anyway. That was good. Man. I, I miss I forgot about I forgot about the noble. That was close. That was close, close, close. I think questing beasts just won the game for them right there. I think I had him on the next turn. Whoo! Man. There's that there's the misplay. Okay. Um, aggressive start here. Opponent is going first. That's a bit of a bummer, but I'm going to try to keep with my aggressive start. Alright. Then I try to be aggressive as well. Once the future could be getting close to turn on. What would they have that holds priority like this? I have no idea. Rimrock. Oh, ha, it was their Rimrock. Oh, so look, I think I'm going to get... This guy can't even block, so let's go Jousting Dummy. I'm going to hit for two. We might be able to be... Uh, we might be able to out-aggress them. See what you got. Okay, shoot. Better deck then. <laughs> Youthful Knight, that's really nice to see. Um, so we go here in case we need to return a Youthful Knight. And I think we just attack with both. I don't mind taking out these Raiders here. Block? I kinda hope they block. Okay. Alright, and then I can dodge removal spell with my shepherd. They're going to have to tap this guy. They can attack with this guy, but then this guy's tapped. Flow here. Let's see what happens. Oh, I was just thinking. I hope it's not a Rampart Smasher. That's that's tough. Um. Okay. Well, now ideally like Grange is gonna work. Shoot, dude. <laughs> um. I don't think we have enough power to like punch through this right now. Let's just pass. This thing even has trample. They are out aggressiving us for sure. Out aggressing for sure. This is my favorite. Uh, this is this is my favorite archetype. I think in Eldraine. 
Um, there's so much power in this in this Stompy deck. Um, okay. So I could take it, and then I take nine and go down to four, and they're trampling. Mm. I can actually take this thing out with first strike relatively soon. So why don't we oh, man this is this is bad. Let's see if they have something. I don't want to just like do a shepherd of the flock trick here. My Grange is going to get the Youthful Knight going. Spork Out Spider. It's a pretty solid defensive threat, I'm, honestly. I don't even have anything I want to get. I need to draw some removal spell. Removal spells. Scalding Cauldron's pretty good, actually. So, Idyllic Grange. Goes on to this guy. actually use this twice with uh, Once in Future. Mm. I can take out Rampart Smasher. So let's do that. I can try to take out the Rampart Smasher with a little combination. I'm, I feel like I'm not do, doing too hot right now, but... Um, with First Strike, I can take this guy out. They've got more cards than me, so... Uh, I don't know. Oh no, it can't be blocked by Knights! Oh, shoot. I have goofed. <laughs> All I have are knights. Yeah, I mean, I can't do anything about that. That's, uh, that's bad for me. <sighs> for totally forgot about that. Am I just dead now? Do they have another one? Just like real close to being dead, though. Okay. So now that I realize I can't do that, oh man, I can't. I don't know what to do about this guy. This guy's got tramples. So Gotta go. Not what I was. Well, not what I needed right there. So I have six mana. I can't really do anything here. Um, I can go Shepherd of the Flock. Like as a blocker. And then my Once in Future can't even get anything back right now. Yeah, <laughs> not where you want to be at, the, at this point in the game. Man. See, I, I just love this deck. I, I found at a certain point when I was uh, drafting Eldraine that if I just... Uh, I had this one point where I just drafted the, the Stompy deck every time, and I swear it was one of my most successful decks. Just regularly just stomping over people. I just like, almost, I essentially forced it, and it was fine. Show me that other Rampart Smasher. I will get back the Scalding Cauldron here. If they have a removal spell for Shepard, I'm just done. Oh. Okay. Ah, I'm dead. 
I, why didn't I see this before? Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, because I wasn't dead before. <laughs> nice. Alright. Well, that was tough. But I think there was some good stuff in there. Um, I really wish I'd gotten to that seven wins, but six wins is pretty good for me. Got to do a little bit of Lucky Clover stuff. That's always a fun thing to do in draft. Um, but feel pretty good. Can't really complain about anything there. Here's the deck. Um, yeah, I mean, it performed how it should have. It's not a top-tier white-green adventure deck, but I think it's got some pretty solid cards, and they came and they did what they were supposed to do. So, not thrilled, but pretty pleased with this deck. Good job. Good job, buddy. And uh, I will definitely try again tomorrow.